it's recorded. Say hi. <laughs> so we're here in BGC with. Wait, how's your name? What's your name again? <laughs> you I forgot. Don't know. You forgot I your forgot name. I forgot my name. <laughs> yeah. So we have a drinks here. What we have? Uh, what we have uh, here? High roller. High roller. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> That's really nice. So how are you? Good. So how's uh, Manila for you? Pretty nice. For a couple of days. It yeah. was cool, right? Pretty nice. What's your first impression in Manila when you came here? It seemed a lot like the other Southeast Asian countries. Mm -hmm. But I think the more I'm spending time here, the more I'm understanding that it has its own characteristics. Yeah. I mean, it's very different from Bangladesh, right? Yeah, definitely. Very different. Okay, what's the difference from Bangladesh and Manila for the food? Oh, so we don't eat So pork. what we had, what we had, like, we you know, from earlier. In Bangladesh and the kind of food that we have in Bangladesh, we have, like, different kind of spices. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and why you like spice, spicy, right? And the spice mix is also very different. So yeah, we, yeah. we basically marinate everything mm -hmm. and then we cook everything like really well with those spices. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, here yeah. in Manila, what I'm seeing it's is... It's more easier. Yeah, it, it, cooking is very easy. Yeah, like the barbecue and what else? The sisig. Yeah. What do you think about the sisig? Easy. Oh, it was yum. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite from like the the, the quail eggs, the sisig the and then the barbecue stuff? I mean, because the, the intestine is just, you know, normal chicken, right? Like for you, I mean like, I mean it's ugly but it looks delicious as well, so it's fine. Which one? What, the, the intestine, the chicken intestine? Oh, yeah, but I think the sisig was the best. Yeah, yeah, the sisig is really good. So, how about Palawan? What do you think about Palawan? Oh my god, <laughs> I did not want to come back. <laughs> like, it's like luscious okay, green. Okay, uh, uh, tell the story what happened, what happened to the airport. Oh my god! <laughs> That's what I want to know. That's why I'm vlogging. <laughs> okay, so I went to the airport. Uh huh. And then I saw both my flights are cancelled. So Air Swift, they cancelled the flight. Because I'm worried. I'm worried about you last time. I was yeah. like, oh my god, what if everything was cancelled? <laughs> and then how you will like, you know, because everything was already booked, like for like island hopping to like the hotel. So for me, it's kind of difficult you know like it's kind of stressful as well yes yeah, so, so what happened like what, what the airport did i wasn't stressed at all <laughs> really i wasn't stressed <laughs> at all so the air swift guys they actually booked all of our flights yeah, yeah, but yeah. it was late in the afternoon they also gave us a hotel oh they, also gave they us did food. and then we flew to like the people who were mm -hmm, supposed yeah, to fly yeah. to palawan with air swift we flew so what terminal you actually flew like terminal two terminal three i think oh I, I, okay for what what airline like air asia Cebu pacific air asia air asia so we booked air swift but then air swift actually booked all the air asia flights okay yeah yeah, yeah. and then um we had to just one one i mean one bad part was we had to go to puerto princesa and from puerto yeah princesa i don't we, like it we had to give we had to take like this Van, uh -huh. which was five hours ride to Palawan. Oh yeah, I that's what I wanted to like. avoid that entire part. That's yeah, why yeah, I yeah. Air Swift. That's but the, then again, yeah. it's, it is what it is. So how many are you in the van when you actually, you know, uh, for going to like El Nido? I think we were seven people. Okay, because one time when we were there, like twenty seventeen, I guess. So when we arrived, because I planned everything mm -hmm. from like El Nido, Palawan, go uh, Puerto Princesa, but I never thought that. Um, El Nido and Puerto Princesa before is kind of far so we need to uh, uh, rent a van going there so when we wake up like 3am in the morning we leave our stuff in Puerto Princesa so the only like you know um, like uh, the money everything but some other stuff we never you know bring it to like our shoes it was in like Puerto Princesa all in the in the hotel okay. and then we actually ra uh, drive going to El Nido and I was like, oh my god, we leave like 3 a.m. in the morning and we arrive 8 o'clock or 7 a.m. I guess. So it's kind of crazy. And then that's why I I told, I, I told myself like, I'm not going to, uh, you know, um, like uh, Puerto Princesa anymore. But I think 
I'm happy that you know you never stress yourself. Yeah, I was not stressed. <laughs> because like the the airline gave you like hotel food as well. Yeah. And then uh, you know I mean even though like van going to El Nido is kind of stressful as well because I feel sometimes a lot of people coming in there yeah. and it's like you're very like a sardines in the van. But I I mean seven in a big van is okay I guess because it's more like yeah. comfortable. It was a big. And van. you're small, so you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> but but the journey was stressful anyways. I mean, let's say yeah, it was yeah. five hours journey, and then we all reached our hotels at one a.m. I know. And then I had to take another van to going to your hotel. Morning. Oh, okay. From in where? In the morning, from Palawan to Puerto Princesa, and then oh, I okay. we went to Manila tonight. That I see. But I think the roads were really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's there's no like it's very smooth. It's, it's not very, too bad. Like, very green. Yeah, yeah. Roads were it was nice. nice. I like uh, El Nido. And then you did what? Like island hopping in El Nido? I did island hopping. I also so I also went to Nakpan Beach. Yeah. Oh, we did? Yeah. I like Nakpan Beach. And then, How many hours are you in Nakpan Beach? Just a, a couple of hours? Yeah, a couple of hours. I spent and then are you with, with people as well when you go to uh, Nakpan? Not like, really. I was alone. So how? I Do you rent, you rent a motorbike or what? I rented a tricycle. Oh, how, oh okay. How much is it for like El Nido to uh, Nakpan? I think for the entire day yeah I, I rented it for the entire day and for how much around, uh, 1500 pesos oh okay that's not too bad yeah yeah, yeah. and then i think that your driver is the one like your your tour guide whatever yeah, so he took me to leo beach first oh you did as well yeah oh wow and then he took me to this waterfall oh so it's like uh it's um what is it called it's uh a day tour yeah kind yeah, of yeah yeah kind so of. what time you left like you know going to Nakpan to the Leo beach in the morning around 12 12 noon yeah. yeah that's the best time going to how's the weather there did you swim there oh I cannot swim I, I mean like you just you know chill like yeah. nearby the beach yeah. I know I forgot yeah, I yeah. really like Leo because it was very secluded yeah, yeah. I really like Nakpan as well because it was very happening like the sand is orange mm. in, uh, you know, Nakpan beach mm. I like it was it. a very pretty one I know it's beautiful there but my most favorite part was this Waterfall that I visited because we had What's the name of the waterfall? Bulalakao. Oh, I've never been there. Is I it had nice? to cross like five rivers to go there. Oh my god. <laughs> in this I can't do that. <laughs> the good thing is like the river is not too high. Yeah, and the um, the forest was so peaceful. Okay. It was so calming. So it That's was nice. That's nice. So uh, if you're. Um, what do you think? Um, do, uh, do you think you're going back to El Nido in the future to go to other Definitely. area? It's beautiful, right? But I think what do you think about the island hopping? Like going to oh, the lagoons? Amazing. You liked it? Amazing. Yeah. I also learned how to kayak. So there was this lady uh -huh. who taught me how to kayak. Is she foreigner or what? Yeah, she, she's I think Filipino. Oh, okay. She actually, she was also a solo traveler. So we, we were in the kayak together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so she's like, you know, uh, teaching she you. Me. But you have a life vest, and yeah. you told her like, "Oh, I can't swim." You did? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that was nice. I mean, even you have a difficult, like you know, uh, um, what is it called? Unexpected fly change. You actually still enjoy Palawan, right? Yeah, I mean, that's that's what anyone can do, right? Yeah. Why yeah. waste my entire trip because <laughs> something did not go right? So like, in in uh, you told me like early that you're going to Boracay. How many days you'll be there? Previously, I was planning to be there on for three nights. For three yeah. nights. Now I'm here because I have to fly from Manila to Boracay now. So now there it's is only no two other, nights. Yeah, now it's two nights. Okay, so like you're uh, because you're flying back here again yeah. in Manila for two nights. You will stay here. Yeah. But because I was there in Boracay for two nights and it was okay. You will okay. be fine. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't. What you do is like just film. Yeah, you don't need to like you know book island hopping stop. Just enjoy the beach. Yeah. That's what I can now. Yeah, because when I was plan. there. You can just chill in the boat. We can just, uh, you know, we don't need to like. I mean, there's other activities that it's not too like island hopping. You can just rent like um. It's like a parasailing stuff, and mm -hmm. then for one hour, mm -hmm. just take a videos and picture. Like, mm -hmm. if you want like sunset or like a noon time, it was beautiful. Mm. So I actually rent that when I was like my second night, second day in Burak, and it was like it's so fun. Mm. Even though I'm alone, like I'm a solo traveler, so I think that's a good like recommendation for you. If you will there, maybe for first day, just film the area, just chill, yeah. and then watch the sunset in Boracay, and I was like, you'll be fine. <laughs> you don't need to like the island hopping because you're already done with it, you know. You know. Okay, yeah. Because
because usually Filipinos, even locals, we usually we're not tired of Boracay. Boracay is so beautiful. There's a lot of like things, even though it's very small island. It's like you want to go back, even in Palawan. Even Palawan, I've been there for like three times already. I still want to go back and do some stuff. And I've never been to Coron Palawan. But so there are really other cool. islands as well, right? So you told me that you are going to one next. Yeah, time. I'm going to like uh, Kalangaman Island. Oh my like, God, that is so Yeah, pretty. it's beautiful. I will, I will go there for like, um, maybe like, yeah, just chill, like two nights. Because I got a cheaper flight, so that's why I did. There is this an, another island called si, Siraga? Shargao. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shargao is beautiful. Shargao I think is more time like. I'm coming back, I'm gonna but, do. But stay longer places. in Shargao. Mm. Because Shargao is. Um, I love it there. It's very homey. Mm. I was. I planned it for like. I will be there for four nights. And I did. And it was. It's. Uh, it's What is it called? It's. It's perfect. Because yeah. like. Four nights sometimes is not. What is it called? It's not enough in, in Shargao. Because. Also you feel like it, if you stay in a resort, it's better okay. because like you have a pool, and then after that, like you can do whatever you want in the other days. That's why it was so fun. I like it. So like yeah, hopefully like you know you will enjoy Boracay, right? I will. So yeah, okay. to say goodbye to my vlog. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> that was cool.